Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Eden Zero episode number 8. Alright, the previous episode we uh, met Elsie and her crew and there was a battle that went on between Elsie and Shiki but we got to know in the end that that was not Elsie, that was her um, doppelganger I'm guessing some kind of like a uh, monster she explained something about it I forgot about it but it was like it was kind of like a thing that was mim mimicking her you know like her some kind of like a uh, different alien creature and yeah like Sh Shiki won and I was really surprised in the beginning when I saw Shiki defeat Elsie I was thinking like whoa like <laughs> like you know like Elsie is supposed to be one of the like you know I'm guessing one of the strongest characters in this series so Shiki defeating Elsie would be really surprising and I was really surprised at that beginning and then we realized that yep that was not Elsie that was actually someone else and uh, we also got to met, uh, uh, meet uh, some new characters there's this space police I'm guessing uh, who were like you know uh, going uh, for like Elsie and her crew uh, his name was Justice and the, as soon as like you know he geared up his ether gear <laughs> he turned into Jalal <laughs> from fairy tale. That was funny. I was not expecting that, you know. And like obviously the dynamic is really like you know reminding us of like Jalal and Elsa. So from fairy tale. So yeah, that and also um Elsie like told like you know Shiki about his grandfather Ziggy, who was like a benefactor to her and about the uh, um what did they say the shining stars the four shining stars didn't she yeah she said something like that and all of those things and like Elsie gifted the ship to Shiki and now Shiki has a brand new ship he is kind of the you know the leader I'm guessing yeah he's the leader and also um like a new character another new character came in who was called witch uh, I think yeah her, her name was witch and she is one of the shining stars and yeah a lot of things happened like you know like in the previous episode a lot of development happened and now we finally started you know <laughs> the, for the like you know towards the journey towards the mother and yeah so this is the beginning of our journey we have our crew and everything and let's get started let's see what this episode uh, brings so without further ado let's get started with episode number eight of eden zero so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go yep there you go so there's the ship <laughs> that's cool you know we went from pirates to demons oh sh just okay there you go oh okay i was not expecting that wow okay so chick is the demon king now <laughs> the current demon king okay <laughs> wow this this really has a lot of like you know um things uh like you know together for example the whole science fiction thing space adventure and also the fantastical like you know elements of kind of magic which is like ether in this like you know world and you know the also like the whole like you know rpg-esque thing of like you know demon king the uh, like you know the uh, guardians of the demon king who were the shining stars and like so many things you know so many things from different genres kind of together at the same place the most fascinating thing of eden zero is definitely the science fiction portion i loved how like you know I, i'm loving it how they're doing the science fiction portion like like i've seen a lot of good science fictions the top obviously being steins gate and i have to say like eden zero is definitely like doing something great with his science fiction like science fiction done good in a way like i've seen a lot of bad science fictions but eden zero is definitely not one of them it's definitely one of the better ones like i loved how they like you know are doing everything the whole 
space thing, the time travel thing, the parallel world, all of these things, like, you know, I'm loving it. All right. True power. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm not a There you go, okay. Wait, all of them are ladies? Oh. Dragonfall. Oh. Dragonfall. Uh Whoa! <laughs> Oh, those are the mechanical dragons, aren't they? What's happy wearing? <laughs> okay. Mm. You have to start by collecting. Okay, so bring the crew back together again. The previous crew. What? Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, alright. <laughs> Electric! No! <laughs> Electric ones are not good as well. <laughs> but happy was the electric massage? Yeah, okay. Um, what the hell is this? Uh, um, Earlier memory has been planted. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, the old wise, not the kind wise. <laughs> yeah. Damn the animation. <laughs> Yeah. End of the last mission. You can see the silhouettes, so... Oh. Blue garden. <laughs> Damn the name! <laughs> Sister. Um Okay. Oh, it doesn't react. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So after that it will transform, I'm guessing the ship. You know, after they like all of them are, you know, gathered together. <laughs> it's really, <laughs> it's really interesting. Like the code three one seven three. There are four, you know, four numbers, and there are four such shining stars. Okay, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.
<laughs> yeah, like mm. <laughs> damn happy. Happy is going to malfunction after this. Nasu Lucy, I saw them. <laughs> Another cameo. <laughs> yeah. What's he going to do? <laughs> Will he have? <laughs> wow. Yeah, it'll take time, probably. <laughs> Okay. Oh. She's literally like the ship, you know, like she's kind of inside it and all. Cannot get out. Hmm. Oh, I forgot her name. What's her name? Um Price. <laughs> oh, oh my god, there she is. I also forgot her name. The girl who looks like Wendy. <laughs> Labilia, okay. Um. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! Oh wow! Great! Mm, yeah. Uh. Yeah, that you know, like that's quite true that she's saying. Like, whenever some. What? Wait, what's happening? Wait, wasn't she kind of antagonistic towards Chiki before? Ah, uh, great. Hmm. Uh. Wait, wait, did she kind of, <laughs> after she beat her up, like, you know, okay. Get a master. Yeah. Okay, who is the kill master? Let's see. Oh my God, who are these bodyguards? Um, who is this? Oh, damn, who is this? I don't think that's a fan. Oh, no. Sister. Oh, is he one of those people connected to one of those fine shinings? That's like, which said something about a sister. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> yeah.
Oh, <laughs> the, the, the play. Like, I forgot the name that he goes with in here, in this anime. Distributor. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, is he lost? Yeah. <laughs> she has a GPS system as well. Um. Okay, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. This is, yeah. Three and four? Oh, damn. Okay, yeah. Um. <laughs> He's gone. Oh my, one more. She did. Okay. What does they want with her? Um. Oh, she is here. Oh. Oh! Oh my god! What the? <laughs> yeah. Mechanized 60% cyborg, okay. <laughs> oh wow <laughs> damn Shiki you're saying something about sister so I'm guessing oh he also has ether I'm guessing everyone has ether, like, you know? <laughs> it's as expected of a U uh, B-Cuber. Yes. What the hell is... Oh! Who the hell is this? Wait a minute, is this a guild master? Oh no, I don't think so. No, it's not the guild. I think it's a guild master or something. Sister, again sister. Wait a minute. Okay, let's go. Oh, there you go. Okay. Wow. Damn. And he's gone. Okay, whoa, what is that? Chicky! Oh! <laughs> yeah, this will go viral, I'm guessing. Oh! 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 <laughs> yeah. So I'm guessing his ether gear is somehow related to the mechanical arm.
Wow. <laughs> oh, the wind. Okay. Ninja. Whoa. Yo, it's like a. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god, yes, so many people. Oh god, yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh god, yeah. Okay. Where's that guy? Okay, here he is. What's happening? Telepathy? <clears throat> Gilst. Oh, again Gilst. Yeah, Elsie said something about like selling them to Gilst, so... Wow! Is this like one of those tuny... like, you know? Damn, he, her video is going to blow up now. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, Rebecca is going to get pissed at this. Okay. <laughs> He's a mechanical ninja, to be fair, you know, so... <laughs> Alright. So, oh, so is that the master? The, the, the frog guy? Oh my god, yeah, that is... Oh! Happy deer! Oh uh, yeah! Uh, wait a minute. Oh, it's one of those members of the... the so that... Yeah, yeah, the person who came to, like, you know, the mechanical ninja, he was also working with them. Are they, like, some kind of, uh, like... Yeah, he's going to guess now. Like they obviously like Yeah. Okay, I can kind of piece together what's actually happening. I'm going to talk about this after this ends. Oh, is it's that girl? Who looks like Kakura. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I was a bit confused as to what was happening in the beginning, but okay, now I can piece together what's actually happening. The, the, oh, that was not the guild master, the, uh, the frog guy. He's, I'm guessing like, uh, you know, like, uh, as he said that he collects these, like, you know, famous female B-cubers, as we saw, like, you know, and he was saying that uh, we will get some from, uh, like, you know, the other planets and all. So, <clears throat> then, like, so... He's like a, the leader of the terrorist group or not terrorists, like the, the villain group or the, you know, the bad group, the bad group of bad people, uh, the kidnappers. And he's, I'm guessing he's hiring these people who is one of them, the, one of the people was the mechanical ninja and also sister. 
we're always like you know like in this episode we heard a lot about sisters group you know and everything and the sister is supposedly to, supposed to be one of the uh, shining stars aren't isn't she like as um, which said so i'm guessing they are like i acting like a mercenary group or something and so okay so i might be wrong you know like is it like all my guesses and this guy this this frog guy he is like employing as an employer he's employing them to bring people to him in his planet the famous b cubers female b cubers so the mechanical ninja was sent to um lavilia her name is lavilia isn't it yeah okay <coughs> that's the end to lavilia's uh, like place to go and you know kidnap her shiki was there so she like you know she like he was unable to do anything to her but like in rebecca as rebecca was going to uh, meet the guild master um someone from i'm guessing the same mercenary group or like you know the people who they the, the person have hired as kidnappers one of them came and i'm guessing like they took rebecca and the guild master i'm guessing as well i'm not sure who the guild master is but probably as they said like you know the guild master is also missing so i'm guessing they also took the guild master i'm not sure so the guild master is a female isn't it like I'm guessing because the guy said that like to capture all like female BQers. So I don't know like or maybe who knows like maybe the guild master is just missing. Maybe they have not kidnapped him or her. I don't know. But anyways, it's something like this is happening. So actually, like uh, Lavilia, like you know, Lavilia got saved because Shiki was there uh, in the vicinity. But for Rebecca, that was not the case because Rebecca was only with Happy. So yeah, all right. So I was I was thinking like is that the guild master, the frog guy? I was thinking like is that the guild master or something? Like you know they were kind of going back and forth to the frog and Rebecca. So I was thinking like oh maybe that frog guy is like the guild master and Rebecca is actually going to him. Uh, it turns probably that's not the case uh, as you know they said that the destination is planet Gilts. So that frog guy is probably there in planet Gilst. And he's just, you know, kind of employing these kind of like mercenary people so that they can go and kidnap BQers, female BQers from different planets. And that's what's actually happening. Yeah. All right. So and then, OK, so this episode in the beginning, we get to know a few things new, uh, you know, new things about um, which uh, the ship and like you know all the other things and uh, about the shining stars and how like you know how the um what do you call it okay we can get a very clear picture of the shining stars here this is one girl who is wearing a bodysuit i'm guessing she has blue hair twin tails and that's it you know uh, and then there's the girl in the middle i'm guessing that's a female i'm not sure I think so you know uh, uh, she's also kind of wearing another like you know different type of a bodysuit and she like I'm, I'm just telling she I'm not sure if that's a male or a female like I might be wrong you know but looking you know looking at her posture and everything at her body structure I can probably say that that's female and like you know it has a long what do you call it ponytail yeah it's a long ponytail and has a helmet on the head and then there's this another lady at the right who is wearing a, a a dress kind of and has a what is that a thing on her head with white hair you know white hair so okay so these are the three other three shining stars so i'm guessing they are extremely powerful and one of them is the sister i'm guessing the uh, person on the right the, this wedding yeah that's probably the sister you know because sister i'm guessing a sister from the um like you know those sister uh, like uh from the church and everything someone like that i don't know like i'm just, these are just guesses and her dress looks like something like that you know because obviously like i doubt there'll be any sister who's wearing body suits so <laughs> yeah and uh, she looks like you know her appearance kind of looks like the sister and she has also this thing in her head this black veil i think it's called so yeah that's probably the sister 
that which said <clears throat> okay and then we got get to see like you know the which is um like, you know which as like she was like explaining everything that like there's this kind of uh door where it's 3173 wasn't it now i don't know like like <laughs> I, I it might be coincidence but you know 3173 like four numericals four numbers for the four shining stars i'm guessing but one thing like if if that is the case there's two three you know so that's a bit <laughs> like you know like i it's kind of like uh making me doubt my theory that yeah like one the numbers are related to the shining stars because they're true threes so you know but anyways like i'm guessing that's a coincidence you know that the four lettered numbers and there are four shining stars something like that who knows and um also like as they said like you gather the shining stars the four shining stars together the uh the door will open so i'm guessing our inside that door like as like uh, which said that this is not the full form like you know the actual form of this ship so i'm guessing after they like you know gather the shining stars and they go in front of the door and the door opens probably there will be something inside which will help the ship to kind of like you know unleash its full power or something probably something like that and show its actual like you know appearance <laughs> yeah and uh, also another thing is like i don't know where the hell wise went after that he wants to have fun <laughs> in the future so yeah uh, i'm sure we'll meet, meet him obviously he's one of the crew members so and <clears throat> and then we meet uh the other like you know uh, characters who we met in the first few episodes that is lavilia and what was the other girl's name say Celicia, wasn't it yeah something like that and uh <laughs> I don't know why Lavilla was like you know acting like that in front of Shiki because as far as I can remember in the first episode not first but second or third episode she was pretty antagonistic towards him like you know but I'm guessing like you know after Shiki <laughs> taught her a lesson <laughs> I think that kind of like you know worked in a different way <laughs> and Lavilla is kind of like interested in, in him now <laughs> probably something like that I don't know <laughs> you know and uh, yeah <laughs> It's really weird, like, you know, looking at Lavilia because she really looks like Wendy and she is in no way, her personality is in no way anywhere near Wendy. <laughs> She's this kind of Ojo-sama, you know, like her, especially her way, she, the way she talks, you know, yeah, like Ojo-sama is a distinct way, like, you know, nature they talk. So that, like, you know, the Ojo-sama, what do you call it, dialect, I'm guessing, something like that. Uh, <clears throat> Like, I'm guessing that's like the very uh, elegant way to speak, like, you know, the watakushi and what else, like, uh, gokigenyo, <laughs> all of them. So, yeah, I really like the way of talking, like, you know, Ojo-sama, the way Ojo-sama talks. So. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, and then, <clears throat> yeah, and then we get to the main portion where the actual battle happens, uh, Shiki and... Uh, Pino were kind of exploring and I'm guessing they heard um, Lavilia's voice and oh wait a minute I noticed something here what the hell Lavilia's hair is floating mid-air <laughs> what, 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 you know the, the, the ponytail or what do you call it the pigtail the twin tail whatever like there's, there's a thing here and there's this like you know this uh, like small little ball and out from there the hair is coming out and it's floating in mid-air what the hell is that okay this is really <laughs> I, I didn't notice this before what the hell <laughs> it's a weird hairstyle <laughs> some futuristic hairstyle anyways <laughs> i went on a different direction okay so yeah lavilia uh, like they <clears throat> meet this guy did, did he mention his name i don't think so like a cyborg and he's the <clears throat> mechanical ninja as he like you know as we saw and he uses wind power i'm guessing yeah and <clears throat> like so i'm guessing did the frog you know the frog thing that was like you know we saw 
that guy uh, like as i said like you know that guy probably hired him and as he was kind of saying like sisters and everything so i'm guessing the sister is also somehow involved in all of this we'll see you know and they're in planet planet guilt now and obviously <coughs> like lavilia and, and just as you expect from a bcuber like you know she tries like you know starts recording and that's what you do you know in like when you are in danger especially bcubers and youtubers we whip out our phone or whatever we can you know, have vlogging cameras and start recording <laughs> yeah that was good and uh, uh, and we got the whole like fight between shiki and like you know the guy the guy was pretty strong you know like he after he uses his use his the, the, the jutsu that he used you know the uh, the wind the wind like you know the thing the blade wind slash that was pretty destructive like you know it completely like destroyed the road and everything like went like you know like like got flung around so yeah obviously like shiki being like you know like knowing that yeah like i should not like like obviously like if <clears throat> shiki did not do anything that would have been a chaos there would have been a chaos so the police would be involved and a lot of things would happen and another thing like now that shiki you know helped all of these people and levile caught it on camera and probably she's going to upload it on bq shiki will probably get famous <laughs> i don't know who knows like you know like like you know he saved everyone and everything i don't know but anyways that's just something i thought right one thing that i really want to check out that i was not able to properly concentrate while i was reacting to is the section with the frog okay we see there are a lot of female statues here we can see okay this guy this frog guy he's sitting on four female statues and then there's like these all the other like you know statues in the background who's like wearing holding plants and one is holding a little candle okay I want lots of pretty girls around me. Okay, then we can see obviously we can see a lot of statues here. Okay, his name is Master Illiga. Illiga? It sounds like illegal. <laughs> the thing that he's doing is illegal and his name is Illiga. Wow. <laughs> okay, we should be uh, uh, what? We should be getting a good batch of it in a little while. Batch, okay. Still a little more patience. I want B cubers. Oh, okay. So it's not that he only goes for B cubers. So this time he wants B cubers. Okay. A large scale hunt has started on Blue Garden. There you go. And is that true? Yes. There you go. And sister soldiers passed it, participate in it. All right. Like I'm guessing. Like my guess is probably correct. The this guy is probably like sister and like you know her soldiers as this guy is saying probably like you know her allies or something they are like a mercenary group i'm guessing and this guy hired them to do this sister soldiers participate in it uh you're going to have first rate b cubers and then we see these other like you know these statues some like you know some kind of like hunching down and there's these things on top of her i want them quickly for my collection okay now this can go two ways i don't know like number one which is probably was what is actually happening i'm, I'm not sure but that is the, the, the most possibility of happening this guy is bringing like you know these kind of like, you know these females to his place and somehow petrifying them i don't know i i think probably either that's happening you know like as these like you know these statues are there and they are actually like you know people who are living inside them and he probably like petrified them with something i'm not sure either that or this might sound silly but who knows like this is like you know like i'm not sure like this is will sound really silly maybe he's bringing the, the females to his place and asking them to pose for like you know making statues and some other like you know sculpturer are making statues for them for him yeah this this sounds really silly and weird but you know like, <laughs> that's a possibility like i don't know like what goes on through this frog guy's head 
so yeah like th these are like the two possibilities <sighs> my bet is on the first one like you know or something like that like you know he's bringing these like you know these people from like you know different places different planets to his place and either petrifying them or doing something to them that like you know that they are like uh, you know like becoming like statue or something i'm not sure like my bet is on that but there's a slim possibility of him being like you know a nice little frog and he is just even though like kidnapping is not nice like okay like yeah he's not a nice little frog <laughs> like you know like, <laughs> like like who knows maybe he's like you know bringing people just so that they can like pose for him for making sculptures that would also be weird but you know like at least he would not be petrifying them and killing them so yeah that's something but i i don't like bless my i'm not best placing my bets on it because it sounds really weird and really like you know uh <laughs> like silly like <laughs> So yeah, my bet's on the first uh, one, that is, he's probably like petrifying them somehow. And as he said, like adding to my collection and all. Yeah. And then like, you know, after that we see uh, the mechanical ninja runs away. Then we like, you know, Shiki and them go to this, uh, the blue gardens, like, you know, the guild lobby. They're sitting. Clarice comes and informs them that it's been a while that they're like you know the like Rebecca is gone Happy's ear has been like you know broken and I'm guessing like you know Happy tried to fight the person who came but obviously like I'm guessing he whoever like caught Rebecca he or she was very strong and defeated them easily so yeah and one thing that I'm really uh, is like you know unusual is how the how can kidnappers get into the you know, guild masters place like is the security this you know lax or are the people who have been dispatched here so strong that they could defeat them who knows <clears throat> yeah and yeah and then they understand what's actually happening <clears throat> Shiki remembers that yeah the guy said that go come to planet guilds and so they'll start their journey you know to go to planet guest and then in the end we see this lady here who we have been seeing for a long time in the opening who looks like kagura from fairy tale you know especially her mannerisms and everything her like you know her her hair and everything also kind of resembles kagura in a way and you know that samurai like you know the samurai the clothes that she's wearing the dress you know um it looks like a yukata or a kimono i think i think it's a yukata isn't it yeah something like that so yeah and obviously yeah like from the opening we know she's kind of like a samurai she has a katana so something like that and probably like she said something about like oh the eden zero so i'm so i'm guessing she knows something about eden zero who knows like you know Probably in the upcoming episodes, we'll get to know what is her actual connection with Eden Zero. And yeah, what she's going to do after this. So yeah, let's see. So yeah, I guess that's it. So that was my reaction to uh, Eden Zero episode number 8. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button. And also subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know. I'll definitely check them out. So yeah guys thank you guys for watching again i'll see you guys next week with another episode of eden zero same time so until then goodbye and have a nice day